let's talk about real estate in your IRA. So okay. Your okay. IRA is going to own the real estate. All right. Um, and let's say you go put a tenant in. The tenant's going to pay the rental income back into your IRA. Now, let's say there's a problem. With, you have to have the plumber come out or the roofer come out. Um, the IRA owns the real estate. And so there's an important uh, thing that you don't want to commingle your personal funds with your IRA funds. They, they need to be two separate. They're two separate tax, tax IDs. So if you have to pay the plumber or if you have to pay the utilities, the water, the sewer, yeah. the gas, the insurance, the property taxes, that'll need to come out of the funds from the IRA. So you need to make sure you've got the you know proper mm -hmm. funds in the IRA before you do something like this. Correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So let's say you bought a to house for a hundred thousand, you might want to leave an extra a, a couple extra three or four thousand in there to pay the water, the sewer, the gas. And what you do with that is you'll call us and you'll say, Hey, um, here's my here's my utility bill, please pay it and we'll pay all those bills on behalf of your IRA and then we'll keep track of it and you'll have online access. So we're kind of the book. Think of us as the bookkeeper for your yeah. real estate property that's owned by your IRA. That's pretty nice too. Mm -hmm. It's like a little like property management, kind of a little too. Sort of, sort okay. of. We're very passive so we don't do anything okay. without okay. your instructions. Right. But as long as you instruct us to pay, you could tell us to pay 50 bills that month and we will. And we don't charge extra for that. Well, that's pretty nice. Yeah, we can talk about our fee schedule later. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So our fees, we were uh, built by investors for investors and I didn't want to nickel and dime everybody on every little transaction. So we have an encompassing uh, fee schedule. So mm -hmm. we're based on the amount of funds that you send us. So if you send us a hundred thousand and you have two assets in there, um, there's a, there's a price range for that. If you send us a million dollars, there's a price range for that because usually a rule of thumb is the more assets that we have for you, the more activity it'll be. So that's why we're we're a tiered approach, but we're a flat approach. And we also, one of the things that we did early on, um, I was a client of another custodian. So I understood how challenging it was to get through that their process. And a lot of it was, you would have to pay expediting fees to get things done. Well, we don't have any expediting fees. We will still process same day. And we have a cutoff by, I think it's noon, but if you call me at three and we can make it happen, we, we make still it happen. do. Yeah. It's pretty nice, mm -hmm. pretty flat and it gets, you know. Yeah.